Well, welcome back, everyone. Uh, this is the uh, third tutorial in a series of AutoCAD 2008. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over uh, AutoCAD's Cartesian coordinate workspace, uh, drawing some basic lines and, and erasing some lines as well. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, to get to this workspace, remember, I went to uh, my Tools pull-down menu, I went to Workspaces, and I clicked on the AutoCAD Classic. Uh, I would recommend that you go ahead and do that. Uh, that's going to get you into a very basic AutoCAD mode uh, with less things on the screen uh, to distract you. Um, so this is the way I'm going to work and I recommend doing that so that you can follow along a little bit easier. Let's get started. Um, the Cartesian coordinate workspace in AutoCAD. Um, I'm going to ask that you dig inside your mental Rolodex, go back to uh, algebra in high school or college or whenever you took it, and remember the Cartesian coordinate workspace um, that you charted all of your algebraic equations on. It had a y axis, remember, and it had a x axis, and in the middle was 0, 0, and this was positive y, and down here was negative y, and negative x, and positive x. Well, AutoCAD works in a similar fashion. Um, it has an x and a y, and you'll notice down here a little icon. This is your uh, user coordinate system icon, or your UCS icon. Uh, it's showing y is in this direction, x is in this direction, and z of course is pointing right at you. Now, uh, when you start AutoCAD, typically 0, 0 is going to be down here in the left hand corner. In fact, it's a little bit past the left hand corner. Um, if you look down here on your status bar, um, this actually is an x, a y, and a z value for where your cursor is. Notice as I move my cursor around, those numbers change. The third number doesn't change because that's Z, and we're not moving up and down, we're moving in our X axis and in our Y axis. Um, as you move closer to the UCS icon, down in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see those numbers getting closer and closer to zero. And there is actually a zero, zero. AutoCAD doesn't really care where you work in your workspace. Uh, it doesn't matter how large or how small you're working. Uh, a unit is a unit. A unit of distance is a unit of distance to AutoCAD. It doesn't really care. You can draw the solar system in AutoCAD, or you can draw the components of a microchip. AutoCAD really doesn't care. So that's that's how AutoCAD works um, on a very basic level. It's all based on the user, excuse me, the Cartesian coordinate workspace. Okay, and that's how it remembers where circles are centered and ends of lines um, start um, and end, and so on and so forth. All right, let's talk about drawing some lines. In our last tutorial, um, we talked about the different ways to access commands. With your pull-down menu, uh, your toolbars, or typing in the commands down here at the command prompt. The line command is the first one we're going to go over. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick the line command here on my toolbar. And AutoCAD is going to start the line command. Notice, when I click that, on my command line down here, AutoCAD says line, and then it says specify first point. Okay, AutoCAD is asking me, whenever I start a command, watch your command line. I'm going to go over that uh, just a, a lot of times. Uh, I want you to be very cautious of this command line and keep your eye on it. Because whenever AutoCAD is asking you for something or waiting on something, um, then this is where it's going to tell you. So if you're ever wondering what AutoCAD is waiting for or looking for or wanting, take a look at your command line because it will probably tell you. Okay, so I started my line command, and the first thing that AutoCAD asks is specify first point. So AutoCAD's now asking me, okay, well, you started the line command, and where do you want to start it? Well, for right now, I'm just going to pick right here on my screen. I use my index finger mouse button, okay? Um, I picked, and I got my start of my line command, and notice how it has this rubber band type feature, and I'm pulling my line wherever I want it to go. Now I'm going to hit my index finger mouse button. You'll notice as I every any time I hit my middle finger, excuse me, my, my index finger mouse button, um, you're going to see a red circle pop up. And if I hit my left mouse, excuse me, my right mouse button, or in my case my middle finger mouse button, uh, you're going to see a blue circle pop up. So that is an excellent way uh, for you to follow along and, and realize what buttons I'm hitting. And the beauty of having these tutorials is that you can pause them and rewind them and, and uh, slow them down or whatever you need to do. So, again, starting my line command. 
AutoCAD's asking me to specify first point. I pick my first point, I get my rubber band. Now on my command line, AutoCAD is saying, okay, you've picked your first point, now specify the next point. Using my pick button or my index finger mouse button, I'm going to pick my second point. And with the line command, AutoCAD just continues to ask me to specify the next point. So I can continue to pick and pick and pick. Uh, until I'm finished picking points and then when I'm finished I can hit my middle finger mouse button and that's gonna pull up this menu right here and then I can click on any of these options here and in this case I'm gonna pick enter and when the AutoCAD when the line command is complete you'll notice I've got a blank command prompt down here again ready for my next command this time I'm gonna type in LINE I'm gonna hit my enter button on my keyboard start the line command, pick a couple of points. When I'm finished picking points, this time I'm going to hit my enter key on my keyboard. That again ends the line command. Remember you can hit your enter key by hitting your enter key on your keyboard, your middle finger mouse button, or the space bar. This time I'm going to start my line command, pick a few points. When I'm finished and I don't want to pick any more points, I'm going to hit my space bar. Oops, hit my space bar and there we go, starts the line command. Now, if I'm in a command, the line command for example, and I want to get out, and I don't know how to get out, I don't know what to do, remember from the last tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to hit our escape key. Hit escape a couple times, again, I always recommend just hitting it a couple times just to get used to it, uh, excuse me, not to get used to it, but to ensure that you're all the way back to a blank command prompt. Hit that escape key a few times, it doesn't hurt anything, and it ensures that you're all the way out of any commands that you're in. So if I'm in a command line, picking points, and I want to get out, I can hit that escape key a few times. That will also get me to a blank command prompt. All right, the erase command. Uh, the erase command, again, I can go to my modify pull down menu, click on erase. Um, I can also go to my erase pull down or toolbar right here and click on the little button that looks like a pencil eraser or I can type in E-R-A-S-E, -E, hit enter, and once I hit enter, it, and it starts the erase command, and it's asking me to select objects. Notice my crosshairs turned into a little pick box. AutoCAD is asking me to select objects. Now, as I roll over these objects, AutoCAD's going to turn these objects or these lines into little thick lines so you can see what you're picking. And when I want to pick one, I'm going to use my pick button or my index finger button pick a line, it's going to highlight it, and I can hit enter any of three ways, remember spacebar, enter key on my keyboard or my middle finger mouse button, and it's going to erase the line, or excuse me, erase the line or the object that I selected and give me a blank command prompt. Okay, I'm going to start the erase command again. This time I'm going to select more than one line, I'm going to select a few lines. Hit my enter, either way, spacebar, keyboard, enter key, or middle mouse button, middle finger mouse button, and it erases them. Okay? Now you may have noticed in your erase command, if you accidentally pick and you miss a line, you're going to get this box. Well, if you pull to the left, you'll notice that the box has a dotted outline and it's green. If you pull to the right, it has a solid outline. Um, if you pull to the left, that's called a crossing window. Anything within the box or anything that that crossing line or that dotted line touches is going to be selected. If I pull to the right, it's a window. What that means is anything within the box is going to be selected. Now, we're going to get into these windows um, a little bit later when we're selecting things. But just so you know, that's what's happening. So if I accidentally pick, start my erase command, and accidentally pick outside, um, I've basically what I've done is pick one corner of this box. Now it's asking me to pick the second corner. You'll notice on my command line it says that, specify opposite corner. If I come down here and pick my next corner, my diagonal corner, it's going to select the objects. I hit enter with one of my enter keys and I've erased those objects. Play with that a little bit and um, see what you come up with. And in our next tutorial we're going to get into erasing lines with these windows and talk about these windows a little bit more. Um, so until then, have fun and uh, play safe and we'll talk to you soon.